Plasma build part three. Hi everybody, got some new toys going. Got a Hypertherm Power Max 85, got it the other day. Uh, really excited about it. Uh, took it out of the package, reading up some, uh, some stuff. I also mocked up my gantry here for the table. Um, this is going to be the X axis. I always get them confused, but anyways, I mounted the torch. Uh, the power max torch for the um, machine torch and right now I'm mocking up uh, I'm gonna use a cable track system uh, I need to make some sort of um, mount under here and then a u-channel probably an aluminum u-channel to hold the the tracking um, and then over here I'm going to make some plates that I'm going to weld into here, and on the back side of those plates are going to be are going to be nuts, so I can bolt the um, some angle in there, and then the tray will be the U channel will be supported under here, so the um, the cable can run through that. Real quick, here's what I have right now in some parts. Um, these are going to be welded onto. Sorry for camera motion here. These are going to be welded onto here. And there's going to be uh, nuts welded on the back side. And then in turn, these brackets I, I bent up, they're going to hold the aluminum tray or the aluminum C-channel. Um, probably something like this. Stick out a little bit. Maybe we'll put a spacer in behind it. I'm not sure yet until I get the, um, the C-channel or the, the U-channel, the aluminum U-channel. And then measuring for the tracking, I'm going to get the tracking at McMaster Car. That holds the cabling. A uh, couple other things. I waiting for the motor controllers to come in, and the, that should be here in a few days. Once I get that, I can order the, the tracking and measure for the cables. And my this is the thickness of the torch cable. It's about three quarter. But I need to take an account for the other cabling, and I need to make sure I mount everything out of the way of the motors. It's the first time I'm ever doing this. I really have no idea what the hell I'm doing, but I'm, I'm trying. Uh, anyways, working on another project. Um, this is a swing arm from a older YZ250, swing arm pieces that I cut apart from an older YZ250. I have a customer that wants their 1980 Honda CX500 made into a single shocker. He gave me the shock. It's from a CBR 600. So I figured, well, let me let me get a YZ swing arm and cut it apart. Well, it's not going to work. I need to make I need to make these pieces here uh, because where the tire clearance is, it's just the curvature is just not going to work. And I was going to cut it apart and uh, shorten it. Um, as you can see, I cut apart the whole swing arm already. Um, but it's just not going to work. It's not going to be feasible. So I'm going to get some. This material, I'm going to make a jig. I'm going to bend them up the way I need to bend them. There's the bike, half covered. Uh, I need to get it up on a, on a rack that I have, a motorcycle ramp. Jack it up, take it all apart, cut some things apart. Uh, he also gave me some sort of seat pan loop here. I need to cut all this off, all this off here. And mount a shock into here and make it a, like a mono shock, like a motocross bike. It's going to be a lot of work, but should be pretty cool. Anyways, uh, that's the update on my CNC plasma table. Once I get the controller uh, mounted and the plasma machine mounted, I'm going to mount it underneath the table. I need some more cross members and some expanded metal. I'm going to make a lean-to for it so no water or crap gets on it from cutting because the water table is going to be right here anyways. Um, that's I get, need to make that next. So it, everything's coming along. Taking a long time, but I only have weekends to build this stuff. So, anyways, there's a plug for Hypertherm. Great service, great people. Um, especially Jim Colt. He's a real good guy. He hangs out on the weldingweb.com. He knows his stuff. He tells you what uh, consumables you'll need. Um, different tons of stuff on, on Hypertherm. Really cool company. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.